I'm Sam Greenspan. Today on the 11 Points Countdown, we're going to reveal and yell about your top picks for the best new shows of the season. And I'm Marquise Alexander, and I'm pissed off because Anthony Anderson stole my look. He sure did. Welcome to the 11 Points Countdown. Today, we're counting down the top 11 new TV shows of the season based on more than 3,000 votes on 11points.com. I'm joined today by my friend, writer, actor, handsome reversion of Ice Cube, Marquise Alexander, everyone. Marquise. Yes, sir. Ready to do this? Let's do it. All right, we haven't looked at these results, so we're going to find out the top 11 new TV shows at the same time you do. Here's number 11. And it is Whitney. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Whitney is the show that proves you can turn a hoe into a housewife, and hoes still don't act right. Yeah. <laughs> I, Thank my, you, my feeling on Whitney is just like, all right, I watched a few episodes. Yeah. I feel like she, it's, it's her effort on network TV to prove that she's sexy. And like, if we all just agree, okay, Whitney's sexy, the show can then move on and do something else. I'm, I, I, I'm not going to agree on that at all. <laughs> I think that if, if anybody's going to get sexy points on that show, it's going to be Chris D'Elia. Yeah, uh, he, not he, that I'm going <laughs> to all up in Chris D'Elia, but dude, the dude is, you know, hunkalicious. All right, let's move on to number 10. We have The X Factor, number 10. Uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, that show's so different from American Idol. It's like the difference between Kool-Aid and Wilders. So glad I had the black guy on the show so we could talk about Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> I wish this was red Kool-Aid. Oh. All right, number nine. Uh, we have Suburgatory, ABC sitcom. What do you think of number nine? Uh, I just watched that show to see Tessa. because uh, The girl, the redhead girl. The redhead yeah. girl. The countdown for when she turns 18, because uh, I have not had that particular shade of red before. Oh. Is this is this like a Joe Paterno situation? Like, should I intervene on this right now? Or no, because I'm waiting. There's a countdown clock, hopefully, no, like, like, right over my left shoulder. As long as you're waiting. And Number the, eight, we have NBC sitcom, Up All Night. Yeah, dude. I've, I've been waiting for uh, uh, for that show to come on because I love Christina Applegate. Like, I, l I love her, and then she's got a show, and then there's Al Bundy, he's got a show. Right. And then uh, Peggy Bundy, she's got a, she's on Sons of Anarchy. No David Faustino. Yeah, dude, he's on the side of a milk cart. Right. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't done anything since Where's Bud? I don't know. Was he in Air Bud? He should be, or at least Air Bud Golden Retriever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. Number seven. We have, okay, this is one everyone's talking. All the, all the smart people are talking about Homeland. Dude, I am not a smart person, but I will talk about that show. <laughs> it is ridiculous awesome. Like, I, I was sitting there and I was like, I'm watching, who wants to watch a show about Homeland Security? <laughs> but not about, about that, Homeland. right. Yeah, not it's about not that. about that no. at all. No. So you're watching this like, oh, damn. And then the next episode is like, oh, damn, damn. And then it gets worse and it's like, oh, damn, she's sleeping with him. Oh, say word. Uh, I can't wait, wait till I get showtime so I can join in the say word moments on that show. <laughs> Number six, we have Two Broke Girls. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just going to drink a beer on that. I, I think that's their effort to prove that women aren't funny. Um, <laughs> you know, Letterman's Booker got fired for saying that. <laughs> did he? Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that, but... Uh, Let's, let's move on. Let's move on before we get ourselves we get fired, fired from, from my yeah. show. Yeah. All right, number five, we have Terra Nova. Uh, they should have kept it as Jurassic Park and just called it a day. That show is Terra Horrible. Um, <laughs> it, it's, like, it's like that show that's on TNT with the falling skies, but, like, not good. Right. That's what it's like. No, I agree. To me, Terra Nova, it's like you got Jurassic Park mm -hmm. meets Lost mm -hmm. meets Avatar mm -hmm. meets some dinosaur animators who they got off Craigslist. Yeah, exactly. But, but like, all the worst parts of it. <laughs> Number four, we have Grimm. You watch Grimm? Dude, I do watch Grimm. It's like The Mentalist, but with, like, ghouls and shit stuff. Right. Shit stuff. Don't say shit. It's, it's like The Mentalist <laughs> with ghouls. Right. Uh, it, it's fun. It's flavorful. If this show ever gets big enough, now The Mentalist with ghouls will be on, like, their marketing stuff for next year. So. <laughs> I bet that's how they pitched it. Right. It's just like The Mentalist. <laughs> But with ghouls. Right. Number three, we have the new girl, Fox, Zoe De Chanel. <laughs> All right, first off, I think Chuck Lorre should call up and be like, dude, look, it's already a show called Big Bang Theory with the du dudes with the, the chick. 
you guys stole my junk. You guys stole my junk. Right. Okay, here, the, the girl is the, the extra nerdy one, and yeah. no one's having sex with her. Seriously. All right, because, you know, she's Bones' little sister. Right. And these are, these are dudes that are reasonably attractive. They're not even nerds, and they're not trying to get up in her hot pocket. That's wrong. Hot pocket. Yeah. With bangs. <laughs> Number two show. FX, American Horror Story. That was the number two Ooh, show. Number two show. People people swear by that show. Seriously? Yeah. Did uh, did, uh, did you like call up like Connie Britton and have her like <laughs> she was on the site and just like click Friday through? Night Light fans are crazy. They'll do they'll follow those people anywhere. They're gonna yeah. go watch that Disney uh, John something movie because the dude from Friday Night Light. Yeah. What's it called? What's John the Carter. John Carter? Right. They're well, gonna no, go watch but, that but, one. Well, see, right. he's badass. Everybody loves Riggs. We didn't even talk about that dog on the show. That's how unforgettable right. oh, American Horror Story. Good number two pick. Oh, yeah. They all die. <laughs> they all die. All right. And finally, our number one show, as voted by the 11 points readers, and I have a lot of female readers, Revenge. Oh. Woo! <laughs> um, I, I saw The Count of Monte Cristo. Right. And I like the prison scenes better than I like this show. I do like The Count of Monte Cristo and the prison scenes as well. Um, but I like Revenge. I, it's, a, it's a guilty play. Like, I feel like I'm watching a horrible soap opera, but like it's the best horrible soap opera that you can watch. <laughs> like, well, you know, well, no, no, no. The best horrible soap opera you can watch is Downton Abbey. Because it's just a bunch of British people being all important and whatnot. For someone who wants to talk about how he's not smart and pretentious when we're talking about Homeland, you just brought up Downton Abbey in our top 11 shows countdown. It reminds me of slavery. Like, I'm like, I, whenever I watch it, I turn, I just turn to poor people and to black people and be like, look at all them people. That's what I do. That's in my head. I watch them as slaves. There you heard it. Downtown Abbey. Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. Yeah, Downtown Abbey is right. somebody that's completely different. <laughs> All right, guys. She blows people from McNuggets. That's it for this episode of the 11 Points Countdown. Thanks again to Marquise Alexander, everyone, Yay! for joining us. Thank you for having me, Mr. Sam Breach. My pleasure, and we will see you next time.